Good afternoon, and thank you for once again stepping into the file playland. As always, I'm your file player. I wanted to do a video regarding. Let me reposition myself because I look like a bum in this light. But um, regarding my um, the New York Jets um, draft and um, if how I would have done it differently, um, I say that bearing in mind that. Um, the the New York Jets had a um, by the Jets standard an excellent draft. This is probably one of the best drafts they've had since um, since a while. I mean, they had a better draft than this whole past decade. I'll put it like that. So more than ten years, like this has been the best draft that the Jets have. I think you know um, draft with a lot of promise. And they actually filled a lot of needs, um, you know, whether that be with punt or at the receiver position, uh, tackle position. Um, they doubled up on the tackle position. Um, uh, running back, edge rusher, you know, all these uh, uh, cornerbacks, you know, all these guys were uh, positions of need. And um, the even the guys they got like Ashton Davis, um, you know, wasn't necessarily a position of need. It might be a position of need next year if they walk away from uh, Marcus May. But, you know, it's still good talent. So I graded the Jets draft a B minus. I could probably change that to a B plus given the circumstances. But, and, um, actually, yeah, definitely a B plus because he uh, traded down, which I would have been too much of a chump. To trade down at that second spot, especially with um, Denzel Mims there, but um, he did, and uh, for that I give him a uh, B plus. You know, great draft for the Jets, but I think mine would have been a little better. But uh, let me get into it. Um, and I also have to say that um, it would be my draft as far as me making the selection and somebody else having the the cojones to make the trades that um Joe Douglas made. Cause I would not have done it. Like I, I would have been too much of a chump, like I said. Now let me get into it. The first um pick the New York Jets drafted Makai Becton. I too would have drafted Makai Becton. I thought Makai Becton um has more of tackle potential than um Wirfs does. That uh drug test does scare me. The fact that he fluctuates in weight also scares me. But one thing with Makai Becton, big, nasty, and um some people say he's raw as technique, whatever, why. But um the tape doesn't lie. He's dominated in just about all the tape he's had. And you don't got a lot of bad tape with Makai Becton. I'm glad they made that pick. I mean I thought that Andrew Thomas Maybe even Wills is our better um, prospects. But um, Makai Becton has a higher ceiling than any um, of those guys. So I would have taken Makai Becton with that pick. With the second pick, again, the Jets traded down. Kudos to them. But um, I would have still with the same pick and been super happy about it, which I am super happy about the fact that they got Denzel Mims, the wide receiver extraordinaire. First round talent, blazing speed, great size. Um, maybe at the next level, learns how to use that size to bully people a lot more, but can't complain one iota. I love this pick. With the uh, third round pick, the other things start getting a little hairy. That New York Jets went with Ashton Davis, the cornerback slash free safety from Cal. I would have went with Josh Jones, the uh, tackle from Houston here. Because I think that Josh Jones, outside of Andrew Thomas, was probably the most ready tackle um, in this draft. Um, he's a little older, but um, he also has a lot of good tape. Um, very well-rounded at the tackle position. Um, I was super surprised that he dropped to this uh, pick. I thought he was going to go in the sixth round. I mean, in the first round. And... Um, I'd be elated to take him here, you know, even if we have, um, I forgot the guy we signed um, from the Seahawks, I'd bench him, I'd put Josh Jones in if if uh, Josh Jones plays better than him coming out of camp, um, 
it's a little bit of a luxury to take two tackles here, but you don't get a chance to take two first round talent tackles um in day in um and have that be your uh, second pick or third pick in day two. Or yeah, second pick in day two. I mean like that's uh you know, you can't argue with that. Um with the uh third pick here, a little tough because um Lloyd Cushenberry is also on the board. Um and actually Lloyd Cushenberry may have been on the board in the pick before that, but I can't deny that there's a tackle there. And uh, I could do some finagling. Um so I think Lloyd Cushenberry is off the board at this time. Super, super tempting to take Curtis Weaver, but how the draft played out, there were a lot of pass rushers still on the board. Um, but there weren't a lot of dynamic, small, shifty receivers in this draft. Um, and there's a dynamo here, like, ready for the picking. Um, so I was thinking, you know, let me go with the small dynamo receiver and... If I got to take a uh, different pass rusher, so be it. But the Jets went with uh, J Jabari Zinniger here. He got talent, but it's a little bit of a risk. Those Florida guys scare me. We just had a bad Florida guy, but um, not only that, but he um, has an injury history. And um, with... The need that we had at wide receiver, which I don't think we addressed enough uh, in this draft. I take Devin Divinate, the small dynamo out of um, Texas. Wish we would have drafted him. But then with the uh, next pick in the fourth round, um, the Jets went with uh, running back uh, LaMichael P. Ryan out of uh, Florida. He's all right. Um think they were a little bit better uh running backs here but for the Jets he is a good running back like he's a change of pace strong uh running back but I would have went with Curtis Weaver here because he's still on the board he was languishing around till like the sixth round um and I would have been really happy to get my pass rush settled uh early on with the guy who I think has the most potential of any pass rusher in this draft um outside of Chase Young you betcha um the next pick the Jets went with um, James Morgan, at Morgan out of FIU. I was extremely pissed that they picked a backup quarterback um, at this pick. I don't care if he's um, dope. I'm trying to see what Sam Donald could do for me. I'm not trying to see what a backup for Sam Donald could do for me. Could have got that guy later on in the draft. But um, <clears throat> with this pick, I would have uh, went with uh, Troy Dye, the uh, linebacker from Oregon. Troy Dye uh, could have been a second-round talent. A little bit undersized, but he plays the pass really well. Um, he um, plays side-to-side side very well. Definitely going with Troy Dye here. And uh, you could cut Avery Williamson with that pick. So I would have um, saved myself some money in addition to um, getting a really, really good... Um, linebacker him you know for years to come and uh i was having trouble picking that um pick to be honest because uh my next pick was still on the board but he ended up still being on the board anyway where we picked cam clark with that next pick uh the tackle out of charlotte but being that i already picked a uh, tackle um josh jones in the first pick in the third round um i don't need to make this pick as much as i like cam clark i think cam clark is a has a, a lot of beast potential. He's a little undersized, but um, I like that we got him. But I would have taken Amik Robertson with this pick because I already uh, solved my tackle position twice. And uh, Amik Robertson is a real, real nice cornerback. Um, top five cornerback in this draft, I thought. Um, the Jets did get Bryce Hall with the next pick. Um, who has a little bit more potential than Amik Robertson because of his size, but Amik Robertson, they're neck and neck. But with the next pick in the fifth round, the Jets picked Bryce Hall, and I would have picked Bryce Hall too. I mean, Bryce Hall is nasty, tall, 
Uh, great tape. He was injured, and I think this is why he dropped so far, but our game. We got two cornerbacks um, back-to-back with that pick. So uh, line them up. With the next pick, um, we got a similar guy to this on our roster already. But um, so what? I mean, like, just in case uh, this guy doesn't um, get the love that uh, he's um, hasn't been shown since he's been on the Jets in Le'Veon Bell, you know, we could move on from him, trade him, and uh, have somebody who's comparable to him. I know he's not going to give you that production, but, you know, you never know. But uh, I would have taken Eno Benjamin, the uh, running back extraordinaire from ASU. He could catch. He could run. He could do it all. But uh, with that pick, they picked Braden Mann, who I like too. I mean, like, you know, a lot of people were barking at me because I was knocking that they picked Braden Mann, uh, the punter, with this pick. You know, I know we need a punter, but... Um, don't usually draft punters that much, and um, he probably would have been there with the next pick anyway. But um, even though I still would have not picked him with that next pick because uh, there's so much talent still left on the board. It was many picks that I could have picked with the last pick, which the uh, Jets traded away to the Colts, and they picked uh, picked up Quincy Wilson. Yeah, Quincy Wilson is all right. But uh, I already dressed a uh, cornerback, picking Amik Robertson in the fourth round, and... Um, Bryce Hall in the fifth round, and I would have uh, gone with Kenny Willekes, the pass rusher extraordinaire out of Michigan State. Surprised that he ended up um, this far down on the board, but um, they lost my game. Kenny Willekes is a hard worker, and it provides me some sort of insurance if uh, Curtis Weaver doesn't work out. Uh, you got a guy to plug in, you know, who's had to fight for everything he's gotten. Um, in college, or if they're both dope, you know, I um, have a chance at um, running two uh, defensive ends or outside linebackers um, in pass rush situations. Why not? It's great, you know. So let me run down my list again. I picked Makai Becton with the first pick, Denzel Mims with the uh, second pick in the second round. Um, I pick um, Josh Jones with my first pick in the third round, followed by Devin DuVernay with the uh, second pick in the third round. With the first pick in the fourth round, I would have picked Curtis Weaver. With the second pick in the fourth round, I would have picked Troy Dye, linebacker out of Oregon. With the third pick in the fourth round, I would have picked Amik Robertson. With the pick in the fifth round, I would have stood pat. And done what the Jets did and take Bryce Hall. With the uh, first pick in the sixth round, I would have picked Eno Benjamin, the running back from ASU. And with the last pick in the sixth round, which is the second pick that they traded away for Quincy Wilson, the cornerback from the Colts, I would have picked Kenny Willekes, the outside linebacker slash defensive end from Michigan State. Well, let me know what you guys think. Um... I love the draft, and I'm glad to have um, done a lot of content for this draft. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun, and I'm glad the gents went the way they went. I just think I could have done a little better. My draft is an A-plus draft. But uh, let me know what you guys think, and with that, I'm out. Peace.